Hello and welcome to a new video and today we're at the Staffordshire Classic Bike Show October 2022. Well folks welcome to the FS1 East End and these are the well this is the bike that got me into motorcycling. I pretty much had that model in fact I think I can find a a photo of me on my FS1E 1979 stroke 1980. Mine had the pedals like these have here. It's got a September 74 tax disc on it, look. <laughs> That's nice. Nice touch. Why PVS? I have to say, two strokes have a, a special place in my heart, really. Never ridden one. You've never ridden a two stroke? That's because, you, that's because you, you're younger than me and you came into motorcycling later. Oh, talk about two strokes. GT750. These big bikes, Absolutely two lovely. Strokes, Sorry. Yeah, the, the, the two-stroke two triples. Oh, look. oh, look how polished that one is. Real bling, isn't it? Look at it Yeah. Beautiful. Never ridden one mine, but uh, I'd love to. I used to call them the kettle. Zuki kettles. I think other people called them water buffaloes, like mid 70s machines. Swords been polishing. Oh, would you want to? Would you want to take it down the road when it looked that clean? <laughs> hey, oh, you're into your uh, traditional air-cooled bikes here, Carol. Yeah, the, these are the original katanas. You know the, oh, the Zuki. Have, yeah, the Zuki have done a a new version of the katana, haven't they? Which hasn't been a big seller for them, I don't think. Back to two strokes again, Carol. <laughs> There's definitely a theme here. Yeah, on this video, theme. Isn't it? Sorry if I'm a bit uh, obsessed by the uh, 80s, but it's my uh, my era, and uh, there's a really nice RD 400. Yeah, the the 400 was still a a really rapid bike. Again, someone's done a, a beautiful job of it. And we're actually on the air-cooled RD club stand. Yeah, the, the tank is super nice, isn't it? Reminds me a little bit of the Kawasaki tank. Yeah. Well, this is what everybody dreamed of owning. And they came out. The size of the engine, aren't what, what a monster of an engine that is, isn't it? Look at that. One thousand and forty-seven cc. This one's got a genuine twelve, two hundred and fifty miles, mostly untouched. Hi. That's the best one. That's, That's yours, is it? Is that, <laughs> right. That's the best one, is, is that it? your bike, then? That's, That's beautiful, looks, yeah. isn't it? It looks amazing. Do you it's like... the best one on the stand, obviously. <laughs> Do you actually <laughs> ride it? I've done a thousand miles. Like, yeah, I bought it when it got 10,000 miles on. Um, I do between 800 and 1,000 miles a year on it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. And and what uh, is it like to ride compared to a modern bike, then? Heavy, yeah. Mm. Brakes are dreadful. Suspension's <laughs> dreadful. It's really? a bit like a Formula One car, though, when they're really revving, don't they? They do if you've got open-ended silencers. Ah, well, you've or, got you've got standards on them. Yeah, well, I've got the original. They're actually Delta bit pattern ones. The red bike there's got the Pipe Master six-inch exhaust. Is that the one and that's going to really they, sound that, fabulous? That howls, absolutely howls. Yeah. When it's revving. Yeah. Do you all go out as a club? Do you all ride together and 
We do, yeah, well. we have club meetings, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, this, this club is it's a really social club. They're an amazing engine, they're absolutely beautiful, so, so smooth. Yeah. And you can pull away a thousand mile an hour, sorry, a thousand mile an hour. <laughs> a thousand yeah. miles an hour, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, in top like gear. That. Yeah. Uh, um, but it's very dated from the handling and braking yeah. yeah. point of view. I mean, everybody sort of my age, I mean, I'm 58, dreamed of owning one of these at the time. And the, the, they were quite expensive originally, weren't they? 2018, yeah. I had one in 78. Yeah. Really? When they first came out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Three thousand? How much? 3,000? Wow. So I, I bought uh, uh, an RD250 LC brand new, and I think that was 1,300 quid. So you can see how much more yeah. you paid for one of these. Yeah. Beautiful summer's day, and they found me from the dealers in Worcester, yeah. stating that they'd had the CVXs come in, yeah. but they'd only got the silver ones. Right. And it was a really odd decision, but I said... What colour did you really I want had, then? I wanted the red one. Right. All right. So I waited for the red one. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Have you, about, do you still own the original bike? That is, no. 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 I, my wife didn't want me to sell it, but I did. But I have got a, a red one, identical, yeah. back yeah. at home. And, and and that one's yours, is, well. is it? And that one is still we, 100 miles from that, you. That's yours, is it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's still 100 miles from you. Basically, they couldn't sell, Honda couldn't sell them. Yeah? So, really? really? Yeah. So they gave like... them to colleges in the States yeah. for scientific science projects. <laughs> really? That particular one got pushed in a cupboard. Really? Wow. And so it's, it's not been anywhere, then? It's the original tires. The, uh, Really? Did, wow. Oh, yeah. It was taken out the cupboard. It did 100 miles shade down, if you like, to make sure it was everything was OK, which it was. And then it hasn't been touched since. So it's not even reached a first service sort of mileage or anything? <laughs> that, that's, amazing, that's amazing, isn't it? Not running. It's, what a find. It, it is as, as it came from the factory. Not oh. touched in any way. I mean, the, the, the engine for me is an absolute work of art. You know, the, 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 yeah, the work is. that went into the design and yeah. build of those engines. Yeah, it's just just superb. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean what, that's what they're all about. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd I'd absolutely love to own one. I mean, just just to give me an idea and, and, and viewers an idea of, of how much one of these is worth now. You'd have if to if spend I always to, get one. to want to buy that off you, well, and I know you probably wouldn't sell it, but how much <laughs> would I have to to come up with in in in, in notes to buy that? An ordinary red, a red one in, in pretty good condition, fifteen. To twenty thousand pounds. Yeah. Really? I wouldn't have a clue what that was. Yeah, that one's so unique. No, I, I, yeah. I, don't yeah. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's a one-off, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just it stays in the garage, heated yeah. garage, <laughs> on display, Beautiful. and then it comes out for shows. Oh. That'd be in the front room. That wouldn't be in the garage, would it? Oh, yeah. No, we do. We do. Would you like to phone my wife up and tell her that? She rides it. She's got her own bike, so yeah. she's very understanding, my wife. <laughs> I bring pictures and, yeah. and I tell her, what do you think of this? And she said, lovely, but it's not going in the house. RD350. Oh, RD350. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. 1982. Again, it's my era. <coughs> Why oh. would you? Oh dear. It's got a unicorn, Carol. Yeah. Uh, mm. Let me know your thoughts in the comments <laughs> below on the shocker. <laughs> the 700 LC Carol. Someone's been uh, someone's been messing with that engine. Look, there's two engines down there. Oh really? Tied together. Look. Yeah. So that's two 350s. Yeah. Two 350 engines. That has got me one thirsty beast. <laughs> oh, RD 500 V4. Again, lots of people love to own one of those. Uh, Mars bar. Yeah. There are expansion chambers on it. Very, very nice. I like the expansion chambers on that. Mm. Obviously, it is an original, but uh, they've done a nice job of it.
you're looking the at the original version. Yeah, the original Z900. Yeah. Mm. KZ900. Quite like the way it's got the exhaust coming out both sides, so it's all symmetrical, symmetrical and nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. No. We got it right first time. That's yeah. why they keep making uh, the, the new ones, ones look yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah. Beautiful again. Isn't yeah, it? absolutely lovely. lovely. Lovely job on the paint. Yeah. And Zed Thou in red. That's like half the price, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Another nice RD. Yeah. Well, I never had the belly pan on though. I'm not keen on the belly pan actually. No, um, it's not my favourite bit of the bike. Yeah. I know, it's a scooter crept in. <laughs> Quite a nice paintwork, though. It's interesting, yes. Is that Jimi Hendrix? Well, I think it is. Mm. It's the Benelli. I spy the six-cylinder Benelli when uh, when we walked in. Uh, wow. I need to find where that is because I think it's a it's a fab-looking bike. Is that rotary. That's the uh, uh, RE5 rotary. Suzuki really didn't sell many of them and they poured loads of money into developing it. Well, I think it. everyone's struggled with rotaries, haven't they? Well, uh, yeah, it just didn't didn't prove to be a very fuel efficient engine and the emissions and everything else is a shame. It's a it's a very unusual bike. They even because it's rotary, they even made the, uh, the <laughs> clocks a rotary housing. Right. Alberta. It's in great condition, isn't it? 750 SF. Very, very nice. Hey, it's a good colour for you, Carol. Oh, no, it's a bit pink, man. Is that a bit pink That's for you? That's a bit you? too pink for me, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, a bit, I mean, it's fun to ride. Yeah. Unusual looking, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you get some looks on it, yeah, certainly. Yeah, it's, it's got all speed pipes on it. Yeah. It's going to sound great. Mm. Gonna get some looks. I mean, he's even took Certainly the. Certainly unique. He's even took the clocks with the Union uh, yeah. Jack flags on them. Okay, 500. That's nice. Lovely, isn't it? What's your favourite colour though with the KHs? Oh, that green's gorgeous. What is that? It's a Honda Cub, according to the front. I think it was a Honda Cub. <laughs> I don't think there's much left of the old original Honda Cub there. That looks in good condition, doesn't it? Mm. Looks like the sort of thing Steve McQueen would be seen scrambling around <laughs> the, yeah. uh, uh, the desert on, doesn't it? Oh, it's a 250 wet dream. Sorry, owner. Super dream. So the 250cc Panther. Got to be honest, I know nothing about it. From 1965. <coughs> Honda NSR 250. That is going to be a wild thing to hang on to. Mm. Looks like the, three, is it the 350 engine in there. 375cc. You're the while pulling wheelies. <laughs> yeah. Nice little do patty. Yeah. Yeah, it is, really, isn't it? Is there anything Pretty about little it? Thing, that. I don't think I'd fit on it though. No, I'm not sure even I would fit on that, but it looks lovely. It's a Ducati 125. Mm. Really sweet that is. Yeah. Engine, Very guys. unusual. The 1956 BSA DB34 Star Clubman's. Handlebars don't look very comfortable, do they? Oh, no way. No, you wouldn't get a fat lad like me riding that. <laughs> Again, credit to its owner. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning, yeah. 
those drum brakes. And just the polishing of the Polish. wheels and the spokes. Polished to perfection. Hours and hours yeah. worth. This is Kawasaki's uh, version of the six-cylinder engine from the uh, well, 70s really, isn't it? 70s, mm -hmm. early 80s. This is That's water-cooled. Monster, isn't it? Yeah, massive. Absolute monster. Yeah, 70, 1979. It looks like someone's done a lot of work. Bring that back together. A lot, a lot of work. Isn't that, bit, isn't that a well. little bit like uh, the, 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 the heat's trying to restore? Probably it's something is, yeah. similar to that, isn't it? That exhaust is a bit like what they're doing with the new Hondas, isn't it? Where they bring them down and round like that. Yeah, well, they're finishing those new uh, those, those bikes off now. Yeah. And turning them into twins. <coughs> We're at the Rose and Crown. And we can have a point. <laughs> I don't think so. Suzuki GT 250. Everybody thinks the uh, GS is a uh, twin cylinder Bavarian off road machine. And there's your GS 1000 by Suzuki. Thank you. <laughs> Quite cool. Well, thank you. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Green lined Moto Marini. Quite unusual, aren't they, the Moto Marini three and a halves? Yeah. I always thought the Mako were, uh, were, did the big, um, uh, like, Honduro type bikes that were wild things to ride. He's a hell of a looking street fighter, isn't he? Mm. Harris. Looks like a Suzuki Bandit engine in it. So here's a, a Spondon framed Honda. Mm -hmm. They just made frames that handle better than the manufacturer's yeah. frames did in the day. Yeah. That's why people, racers, use them. SA 650. Yeah. There you go. The gentleman that sort of does all this and puts it on YouTube, and I, are you? I am that gentleman, then, oh, yes, good. yes. I'm not quite sure what it is. A weird front fork arrangement. Yeah. What's that about? I don't know. It's a hub steerer. It's to take away the, uh, the force of uh, dampening from the force of steering, you know, braking, yeah. so it doesn't dive when you, uh, when you apply the brakes. Truly a Rotax engine self-designed and self-made. It's very impressive actually. That in its day, if you wanted to go really, really fast, was the bike to have. Mm -hmm. Looks fast even though it's just sitting there, it? It's still a fast bike. <laughs> yeah, it's still a fast bike, that is. Well folks, getting busier and busier. What time is it now, Carol? Uh, 20 past 10 now. 20 past 10. Now what we want to find is that six cylinder Benelli that's all being wheeled in. And there you go, look. It's lovely. Benelli 750C. I presume se is uh, Italian for six. Look at that engine, guys. It's quite a small bike, this engine. It's a six cylinder. It is, isn't it? It yeah. looks altogether smaller than the uh, CBX downstairs, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, that one doesn't look quite as clean, but it's still there, isn't it? Another one with the sparkly paint job on it. Another beautiful one, six cylinder, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that. 
all the workmanship in that and the work to have got it back looking like that from what is a 1977 machine. Yeah, no wonder it's got a rosette on it. Absolutely stunning. Whoever owns that, you'd be a proud man, wouldn't you? Poor woman. Sorry, what was that? Poor woman. Yeah, you're assuming woman. it's owned by a man. Yeah, I'm being very sexist <laughs> now, aren't I? But most of them are owned by men. Hey, look, the, the six-cylinder boys have come to admire the six-cylinder <laughs> engine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Really? <laughs> You'll get into trouble now saying that. You'll have the Benelli fellas after you. So these are Chinese, aren't they, now? I think. I think Benelli is now a, another way of Chinese rebadging. They bought the name of it again. I think so, yeah. Don't, you know, I'm not sure of my facts on that one, but I think, I think it is. MZs. I think this is the Mike Halewood replica that that guy was talking about. Yeah. It reminds me a bit of the one that Alan Milliard built. Mm. He built the uh, six cylinder one, didn't he? Davis Motorsport, they're the ones that are sale, aren't they? Just up there. Oh, really, house. Davis Motorsport. Oh, ah, yeah, so they're, they're close to us then, really. Yeah. We'd fit in well with those, wouldn't we? Greedy Pigs <laughs> Motorcycle Club. Yeah. Jowers owner club. They're the ones that Freddie Dobbs was raving about the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, the ones he found in the junkyard. <laughs> just looked yeah, in terrible them, condition, didn't they? didn't they? They were wrecks, weren't they? <laughs> they were, yeah. These, these at least these look do look in running yeah. order. Just two petrol stations per 20 miles. Makes more two-stroke smoke than Dibner's traction engine. <laughs> Only his arms are four inches longer after it riding it. He's really selling it to you, isn't he? <laughs> You don't buy one of those for fuel efficiency though, do you? There you go, guys. You fancy uh, a bit of a ratty RD350. Matching engine numbers. 8,250. Here's 1973 3C. Drummer. Very nice. It's nice. Really nice. A lot of work gone into that. everything for everything here can't yeah you? that's why a lot of people come isn't it for yeah looking you can get all your parts. bits i mean the guy that we bumped into in the queue coming in was waiting it was was getting trying to get a standard exhaust for his lc wasn't he yeah well they've got a couple hanging up there haven't they? that lc yeah. stand so he'll probably be walking out with one one of your favorite stands here carol mm -hmm. I've got, I've got Look at that beauty in the corner there. That's your colour, isn't it? That's the one you Definitely, want. Definitely, yeah. I'm not sure you'd enjoy riding it though, Carol. No? I think it'd be uh, a scary machine. <laughs> having having not ridden a two-stroke, I'd probably uh, try something a bit smaller. Not the one to start on. Yeah, try something smaller. Over there is the bike, like the bike that Tom Cruise rode in the original Top Gun when ah, he's right. chasing yeah, yeah, the yeah. Uh, chasing the plane down the runway. This in the one. Day, I, well, I couldn't tell you exactly what bike he was on, but it was one very similar to this. 
He's on an H2 now, isn't he, in the new film? I don't know. Still gone Kawasaki. Yeah. Jiva. That's the one with the, uh, yeah. Ducati engine in. Jiva Elephant. That's a favourite of... Uh, Harry's Garage. Harry's Garage, you know, yourself. Yeah. Harry's Garage. There's a lovely Ducati 200 SS. I think we had this on the previous oh, we video. Did, that dimple in the because, tank. Yeah, the dimple it's unusual, in the tank, isn't and, it? And we were asking what the loops for were on the top. Yeah. And uh, I think we were right. It's for a tank bag of some yeah, sort. But a tank bag I just or a like map. That. I just think it looks lovely. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. It's the way the chrome fades out into the uh, uh, metallic red, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Sorry. Owned and restored by Steve Rose. No, I do love that. Beautiful. Original Ducati Scrambler. Mm. So the Ducati Scrambler isn't just a new thing then. They've been no, doing no. it a long time. Then. No, the, the new Ducati Scrambler is a... Uh, it's like, it's like most of them, they, they revisit their yeah. old catalogue, don't they, yeah. and do a new version of it. I've not seen one like that before. It's very unusual. What is that? That is a 1978 Ducati 500 Sport Desmo. Oh, look at that Indian. That's a bit special, isn't it? That is. That is really special. Can we see the 1918 Indian? It's one yours? Yeah. Oh, it, I, I, I was admiring it. It, yeah. it is absolutely gorgeous. Really How unusual. long did it take you to get it to that state then? <laughs> About two minutes. <laughs> you just bought, I bought it. Bought it like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating a bit. A very good friend. Then Somerset restored it, and it took me three and a half years. Yeah. Really. But in that three and a half years, he became so crippled up with arthritis. Oh, it's such a shame. He can't ride it. Right. So um, I bought it from him. Right. Yeah. So yeah. It's quite it a lot of bike there, isn't there? Yeah. Is, especially with the handlebars that go like this. Yes, that must be a strange yeah. thing to steer. It is quite. Yeah. Quite strange, quite difficult, and too. Yeah. Things. Yeah. No. Fabulous. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, be proud to own that. Yeah, yeah. it's very nice. All right. <laughs> Thanks for bringing Cheers. it. <laughs> All right, nice to see you. All right, bye. Oh, no, it's a Can-Am. Oh, surprise drum. I'm afraid Can-Ams don't do it for me. Oh, it's one of those Boss Hogs look. Incredible paint job on it. The size of the... I mean, look at... Oh, just stand in front of it for perspective, Carol. <laughs> it's wider than Carol. Yeah. American Excess, I think. TZ250. We've got the uh, XJR owners club over that side. Hey, we've got to film some bandits. We're on the Bandit Man channel. Bandit owners club. Voxel. Never heard of one of them. It's a new What's one. A Come on, guys, in the comments. Tell me about a Voxan. Where's that come from? Yeah. I thought I'd seen most bikes, but I don't recognise a Voxan. It's not even. It's even a Vauxhall engine in it. Mm. It's not a uh, Ducati. Yeah. Unusual. Try right, Daytona. Thousand. Sport. Oh, blimey. Someone's got, someone's got twin turbochargers on on that, uh, <laughs> what is it? Is it a Bandit engine? It's a GSXR 
the Zuki motor in it. How wide it is with them on, though. No. Think how noisy it is. Wow. Crazy. That is a crazy motorcycle. I like the turbos on this tank, Carol. They do a bit, don't they? Yeah. Yes. They've all got their own sort of way of fixing yeah, all got their own way of doing it. Yeah, yeah. it's all... I mean, some of it is, is, is neatly packed away. I mean, yeah. someone's done quite a nice job of the pipe work down there, haven't they? Same there, really. Yeah. There's my old bandit. Yeah. It's in good, good order, that one. That just, that just looks like it, doesn't it? Does, it yeah. That could be the same bike. Yeah. Kind of what I got back to, to biking on, isn't it? Oh, look at that. RGV. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Looks uncomfortable. Oh, we weren't built for comfort, Carol. Built for going very, very fast. Lots of old school sports bikes. That's the oval piston bike. That's really rare. Instead of a round piston that's going up and down, they got the, they were in a long oval. Very, very rare bike. Does that mean it didn't work very well? I think it was really expensive right. and expensive to produce. You certainly don't see many on the road. Really, really unusual bike that is, Carol. Well, folks, we made it outside. It's a bit blowy, so I don't know what the uh, sounds are going to be like. Seventy-two Sealy. Sealy five hundred. Sealy five hundred. Just caps over the back of the carburettors, look. Everyone's heading to where the noise is. Yeah. around the farm. Mm -hmm. Looks a suitable thing for around the farm. Yeah, I broke it. Ah. I was flying down the field and dropped it, lost control. The gear lever dug in the ground and broke the gear selector and uh, ah, right. I wasn't competent enough to actually fix it. Mm -hmm. The TV series heartbeat. <laughs> oh, You wouldn't catch many robbers with one of those, would you? <laughs> it's actually ice speedway, ice. isn't it? It's got ice spikes yeah. in it. Yeah. Ice spikes. You wouldn't want to get impaled on them vicious, either. don't they? Mm. Yeah. <coughs> nice Team Suzuki colours. Raced by Sheen in Alton Park, finished second to Haslam on the works Honda. Full Yoshi engine, 38 more than the Honda, 38 bhp more. Now, I bet Sheen insisted on having a, a cushion on that seat. I would have thought so, yes. Yeah. 
Paul looks a bit original, doesn't it? Exhaust, it's just been punched up, really, haven't it? For John Kaczynski, he's been busy on the main stage, and I do believe he's got a bit of writer's cramp here from signing autographs. Would that be correct, John? You've had a few autographs to sign this morning. I oh, know it's been an absolute wonderful experience. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, what did you think of that, John? <laughs> All right. See ya. All right. Cheers, bye. Oh, man. Scary stuff. Hi guys, hope you've enjoyed the glimpse around the show. It's getting a bit busy for us, so we're on our way back. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye bye. bye.